Welcome back to the channel! Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Holly Talking, even though no one cares. I'm your host, Relatable. Holly Hickman. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited for this video because it's something that is actually very important to me, and something that I'm exploring right now, and that is the importance of freaking gal pals. <laughs> I think I have a cat hair in my throat. Today is February 13th, and that means that is it and that means it is officially Galentine's Day, according to Leslie Nope. <laughs> and just this event and the past week or so has got me thinking about a lot of fun stuff. And I actually want to take a minute to say this is like a serious topic. I'm not like, I know I'm joking around, but it's actually something that a lot of people struggle with. And I know that a lot of people share my experience. And I kind of want to talk about my experience with this and help y'all find friends. <coughs> Man, Dude. I really am choking. I think I have cat hair in my throat, not even lying. My entire childhood um, and up until I graduated high school, I was a dancer and I was in the dance studio literally almost every single day of the week. And that is where my best friendships were formed. You know, when you see the same girls and a few guys every single day, you form an incredibly tight bond and it makes it really easy because you don't have to put effort really into the relationship. I mean, you have to be a good friend, but you don't have to schedule lunch with them or schedule sleepovers, you know what I mean? You just kind of see them every day and they're just there. And then you go off to college like I did and you have to find new friends. I personally did that by joining a sorority. Um, I was an Alpha Omicron Pi at Kennesaw State. And um, as much as I didn't want to be a sorority girl at first, I'm so glad that I did because it really gave me um, some great friendships and a place in the world while I was in college. Then recently, in July of 2018, I graduated. Cheers to that. And I found myself again kind of searching for new friends. Come on, come on, I know you want to. Max cannot stay out of a human's lap for more than 10 minutes, I swear. So anyways, I graduated college and I got myself a big girl job. And then six months later, I quit that same big girl job, even though it was such a blessing in my life. And I'm only a few days into the whole working from home thing, but I've decided to really focus on making new friendships and spending time with gal pals a priority in my life. And I've already felt the impact of it already. I don't know how I was gonna finish that sentence but that's how I ended it, okay. For some girls, friendships are one of those things that come really easily. Um, for me, I'm not one of those people. So like my absolute best friend in the world, love you babe, um, we were best friends all throughout growing up and then when I left for college a year before whore, before whore? <laughs> she's not a whore. I left for college a year before her and the very next year she left for Syracuse. And if you don't know, I live in Atlanta, Georgia and Syracuse is at like the top of America in New York. Like literally, I think it takes her 45 minutes to get to Canada or something like that. So we are far apart and tickets to Syracuse and tickets back home to Atlanta aren't cheap. So it's not like, you know, I could just go see her, you know, for a weekend once a month or every other month or even sometimes once a year because it's such a like, intense, not intense, but it's such like a, um, what's the word? Financial commitment to do something like that. You know, you spend probably upwards of a thousand dollars to complete a trip like that, even if it's only for a few days. And so back to my point, I was just saying that, you know, friendships don't come easily to me. I'm not, I'm an outgoing person once you get to know me and once you start talking to me, but I am not the girl who's gonna come up to you and start a conversation or anything like that. I'm always happy to respond and to talk to new people and to meet new people. I'm just never the initiator in that situation. And so that became a struggle for me, especially after graduating and moving to my own apartment and all that sort of stuff. I found this lack of girl time 
in my life. And the only really, I guess you could say, consistent girl time I had was with my friend Charlotte. She lives in Alabama actually, but she's home a lot more often than a lot of my other friends who have moved out of state. Um, so I probably see her now about once a month at least, I would say. I just don't think that's enough. I think it's really important to make time for girl time, like at least once a week. So I set myself on a mission and I scheduled tons of girl time and I promised myself I was going to keep scheduling girl time. So yesterday, if you watched my vlog, I had lunch with my friend Katie. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day dinner with my friend Sophie. Tomorrow I'm going on a date with Brendan because it's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I haven't made plans Friday, but next Tuesday I'm going out with an old friend from high school. And funny story about that is she just messaged me and was like, hey, I really think we could be friends. Um, do you want to like be friends? Like she literally messaged me on Instagram and I have never been more like flattered or excited in my entire life because it made me realize that there have been so many times when I've wanted to reach out to a woman I've met on Instagram or Facebook and we kind of have formed this like mutually exclusive online friendship, mutually exclusive, I don't think that's the word I was looking for, but we've just like formed this online friendship, but we've never actually hung out in person, which is so different than commenting hard eyes on each other's pictures every, like, every week or whatever, you know what I mean? So I just, I don't even know the point of this video, but I just wanted to come on here to say that it is so important to spend time with girls. And you may have an amazing relationship. I do. I'm so happy. But it's... Love you. Love you too. But it's just not ever the same as spending time with girls. And as women, we need that time to vent and to talk about, you know, just girly things. And just to get things off our mind and just to have that great time for female interaction. And I want to encourage you guys to reach out to someone that you're friends with online or um, try to make a new friendship because you know I feel like we have this like preconceived idea that girls are all you know bitches or catty or this that or the other but most of us aren't most of us are just normal relatable girls who are pretty down to earth and that you you found you have similar interests because of your social media presence and everything so just reach out to someone. If there's someone you wanna go have coffee with or someone you wanna pick their brain about, you know, this, that, or the other, just ask. Just like, like, this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of the opposite of what I'm saying is I'm just saying like, grow some balls and do it because chances are that they're not gonna be like, oh my God, she wants to have coffee with me? What a fangirl. No, she's literally gonna be like, I would love that, let's please do that. Blah, 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 blah. Trust me, I know from experience. <coughs> All right, good talk. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say in this video. I guess I'm just trying to say that I've found that it's really important to spend time with girls and that we need to be not so afraid of reaching out to each other and forming new friendships and making new friends. I think it's a really important thing to do and I really hope this vi video gives you the courage um, to just go talk to someone and just to ask for a friend. If you want to be my friend, DM me because I will be your friend for show. We can go grab coffee or go shopping and spend way too much money together. Only girls though. <laughs> anyway, that's really all I have to say for this video, even though it was super rambly. I feel like I want to do more of these videos where I just sit down and talk to y'all about something that's on my mind because it feels very cathartic to me even though all I see is a camera. I feel like I need a good name. If you see a cool title, that's because I came up with a name for these new rambly videos that I'm gonna try and do more often. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs to hear it because um, I know that six months ago, I could have really used a video like this um, to just push me to step out of my comfort zone and make a new friend. So share it with someone that you think um, could use it. Give me a little um, likey down there and also subscribe by hitting that red button button to join the little family that I have here, that tiny little family. And also leave a comment down below if you have any tips or suggestions for anyone else trying to make friends after college. I will also leave some socials in the uh, links 
description bar below, whatever it's called. Holy crap, this is a rambling video. This is why you should not drink coffee at two o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, uh, uh. yes, follow the socials down below and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Why?